It's one of the cool things about getting up early. Not a lot of people are up. What I totally wasn't expecting when I'm usually up early on the ships, it's only 7 o'clock now. But most people aren't up. This place, everybody was already back in Cabanas eating breakfast. We have Palo this morning at 11, so I'm gonna skip breakfast, have a nice brunch. They did get me a uh, chunk of milk. They did have chocolate donuts, which Ashley might want me to get her one, I don't know. I'll come back up and get her if that's the case. But here, beautiful sunrise was a little while ago. But as you can see, the ships are already in Nassau. And we're making our way in there. Should be there in, uh, I think we dock around 9.15, so. Another hour and 40 something minutes. That never gets old, but it's funny. We didn't notice until last night that one of the ducks was sticking out of it. Who do you think it is? Here's the Currents Bar, it's already closed. Well, I shouldn't say it's already closed, it's still closed from the night before. My favorite early mornings usually walking around the ships when nobody's up. I'm just surprised how many people are already up on this ship today. When I woke up and went out on our balcony earlier this morning, there's two buildings. Looks like two ships sitting there. This is the 18 and older area. I don't think we came up here yesterday. I don't know why. Look at this section. Be a nice place to spend the day. over there. Let me see if I can zoom in. It looks like ships. But the ships are actually right over here. Right over there. But from a distance you look like you're going into giant cruise ship area. Like those two buildings over there. Uh, I think that's a teen club up in the front down there. Tell you what, this would not be a bad place to hang out during the day. We're definitely going to have to come up here and hang out one day. All the outside speakers have come on, so I guess I think it's time for everybody to get up. That's some pretty good waves breaking over there, you see them? Captain did just make an announcement saying, 
the way they were going in and the uh, seas and all you can see them breaking over there we may list going in so let's see you can definitely feel it feel it wow we really are listing and we're going back If you can hear that it's shaking. As the bow thrusters are on. It was a pretty good list when we came in. I know it probably didn't show it in the camera as much as we felt it. it wasn't enough to knock you out of your bed or anything, but it was a pretty good list. Feel the shimmy from the bow thrusters. Oh look, we're turning. We must be turning around. Look at the waves hitting out there. You see them? Wow. I think it's the. Uh, my first guess would have been Mariner. Is that what it is? The one that just went in the dry dock and came back out? I don't know. It's pretty big. Remember when we went to uh, Coco Cay before they allowed the big ships in and that Mariner was there? You can see how the on the side it looks like they have those things. The same thing as that because they just come out of dry dock there. Look at the power in that to turn this whole ship around pretty much on a dime. I'm gonna give you guys a little heads up or it should be a warning. When you have bottles like this that has a screw top with the straw down in it and you have to actually move the top to get the drink out. I decided to put some Coke Zero in it this morning and then uh, you guys saw when I walked around on the deck and everything, got down, went to grab her donuts a pre-breakfast before the uh, brunch. And I grabbed myself uh, just a little bit of eggs and a little bit of potatoes. And I went to open the drink. It shot out of the straw, probably six or eight feet in the air, and covered me and the table in this camera. And the camera I had sitting uh, face up. It was closed and everything. But for the last probably 30 minutes, been opening it and closing it and cleaning out the uh, coke so hopefully it it makes it through the rest of the trip so uh, if for some reason during today's vlog or the rest of the vlogs we switch over to a different one you'll know why welcome to Nassau not to laugh but to laugh I was telling Ashley exactly what happened have you ever seen a somebody drop a Mentos in a Diet Coke bottle that's what it looked like but kind of non-stop and I told her for a split second, it shot out of the straw. And I was kind of in awe before I reacted. And hopefully I reacted quick enough to save the rest of this vlog. And it's funny because I sat somewhere where there was nobody else at. So unless there was somebody that I didn't see, nobody witnessed it. But I'm pretty sure Disney has a camera somewhere. And they're probably all up there, whatever room, just replaying it laughing. Look at this guy, he put the soda in his drink and it went pshhh. He'll never do that again. Fishing, yes? I see soups here, lime tomato basil soup, celery soup, waffles and pancakes, strawberry waffles, apple cinnamon waffles, buttermilk pancakes, blueberry pancakes, eggs, Benedict, eggs on toast and muffin, eggs Florentine, cheese and ham frittata, zucchini frittata, three cheese omelet, tomato and onion omelet, ooh, a calzone, and flatbreads. Rotini melzanine. I'll let you guys see these.
there are beautiful dessert selection always and definitely as you can see everything is in small portions so that you can try as much as possible my challenge for you this morning is actually try one of each we start i will accept your challenge thank you very much we have a little spoon on the side that as soon as touches dessert all guilt goes away oh. yeah. no calories on the cruise not at all now we start with typical italian desserts cannolis with ricotta cream and chocolate chips Tiramisu, mascarpone cheese, ladyfingers in coffee and amaretto, two types of panna cotta, vanilla raspberry flavored, and cappuccino flavored on the side, champ and jelly with berries, chocolate covered strawberries, usually one of the ladies' favorites. Yes. Um, definitely this baked vanilla yogurt is something you need to try. Ooh, what Simply is it? Greek yogurt, condensed milk, and vanilla bean. Baked in the oven. Well, I'm gonna try it also. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> definitely should give it a try. Alright? He's challenged me to try it all. Something a little bit more Italian focused. King of Kings, Parmigiano Reggiano on top. We'll go along with this beautiful cheese selection where the port wine infused cheddar is the one to try. One of our dinner menu offerings is Caprese with buffalo mozzarella and the beef steak tomatoes. Saffron arancini, beautifully uh, crisp on the outside, it's actually quite creamy on the inside. It's creamy. And a lovely asparagus in prosciutto with homeless sauce. Yeah, and then, of course, we have our Kitchen master, Drew, Drew, no, obviously, Chef Matteo, our um, chef of cuisine here at Palo, definitely taking care of everything. Sorry, guys. Now, on this beautiful seafood selection, um, crab, cross, crab legs on each end, the tuna niçoise with green beans, potatoes, tomatoes, and eggs, shrimp, scallops, very straightforward. Um, this tuna on top is seasoned with lemon and pepper. This one, same set of cooking, but with Cajun spice instead. Ooh. A little extra touch of flavor, nothing too powerful. So the same with this? Yes, same with that. The side. And then we have this beautiful uh, Bloody Mary mix with shrimp. Unfortunately, non-alcoholic. <laughs> Out of my control. Thank you. Danishes and pastries on the selection, and we start with a beautiful warm sticky bun. Definitely, yes. This beautiful butterscotch sauce. We keep the dog close because they do try to run away. Beautiful croissants, plain and almond. Touch of almond face inside, and my personal favorite from the whole side. Two types of brioche: chocolate chip and sugar, almond and cinnamon. That actually looks good. What is this? Uh, that's just a fougas with blue cheese and walnuts. Then of course a lot of bread, a lot of dishes. Um, so there's definitely a lot more to try than what I've mentioned. If I did mention everything, you would need to stay here. Too. What did you get? Maybe that's you got that for both of us. This, you did. I got one for you. The butterscotch sticky the butterscotch buns. Sticky buns, uh, chocolate chip, just kind of light stuff to start off with. I went with straight up seafood: scallops, crab legs, crab claws, and whatever that was, and some shrimp. Whatever that, was. Whatever that was. It sounded like it was uh, cheese inside, right? <laughs> Thank you, my lady. We're gonna dig in, see how it is. Okay, we're just gonna go over what we got each time. You got some shrimp, a Bloody Mary, some meat, and what was that? Something blue cheese, walnut, something. I don't so, know if it's sweet or savory. So the blue cheese has me out. But I, I got the Virgin Bloody Mary, some fruit, some more shrimp, scallops, and a little bit of tuna. So far, these scallops and the shrimp have been my favorite. Risotto rice. Ashley got the Parmesan encrusted chicken with risotto rice. This smells really good. I got something I've never gotten on a cruise. Uh, bolognese. I can't believe I've never tried it. But they wait. Cook your food. So you're you're ready for it, but we normally would go through the wine a lot, but All right. we want to experience this and dessert. So we'll probably be sharing each other's. Let's get let's get a taste test from Ashley. Pretty comparable. You haven't noticed by now I'm a chicken person. You love chicken. Is it good? Ooh, the plate is hot, huh? This actually smells really good. It smells good, yes. Can you smell it? I can smell mine. I can tell why they call it bolognese. From the flavor, the taste. The cheese is different, isn't yeah. it? All right, Ashley got five mm -hmm. chocolate covered strawberries. Look how cute this little pile of chocolate from the strawberry. Yeah, I got one here. Let's see if we can 
See it? This is pistachio, a lemon meringue. Pistachio, lemon meringue. A walnut. Brownie. Oh, baked this yogurt. It's baked yogurt. And also cappuccino. You got the same, kind of the same, same thing, but except you got cannoli. Let's try these desserts. We did what we could. We did what we could. <clears throat> tried everything. I tried all six things. I like the strawberry. There's more than six the, things. The baked yogurt. It was really surprisingly good. Like you wouldn't. It was think really it was. good. It was so good. The lemon ring thing were probably Those my, were two, my favorite. two favorites. Mine as well. I didn't know what this was. It's like a bread. With sesame it's caramelized. In it, maybe. I don't like sesame, so. But the yogurt was really good. How was your cannoli? It was okay. Just like a cannoli. It was okay. It's all that that type of cheese in it. Yeah. Look how awesome that is. Written in chocolate. And they brought out a lava cake. Oh my goodness. On a side note, these are real raspberries. I know I may have said it in the beginning when we first got here, but this view. That view is better. I don't know. Do you think they baked this here? Or did it at the parks? I mean, they could have done it here. I'm sure, it they could be. Some... Remember that one show we watched? The crew that comes in, it brings everything and sets it up. Oh, yeah. Could be that. Awesome. We thought. Yeah, she might have been looking down at Mickey, but you couldn't find Mickey. We don't see Mickey. Let's take a look around. Why nobody's here? Because there's Minnie, Donald, and Daisy. I don't see him. Is he by the? He's not laying in bed. Chip and Dale are up there. And nope. Maybe they're waiting on him to come home. Is the atrium during the day? Like, hardly anybody around. So they keep the tree lit the whole time. And right there is where we watch the Winter Wonderland ball from. And right over there is where we watch the Christmas tree lighting. Ashley's going up onto the aqua deck now. She's the last in line, so it's at least a 20 minute wait. We did bring the GoPro, but we didn't have the wrist strap, so we will not be filming on it, but I will get her coming off and going around, hopefully. There she is. And then I'll go after her. So we just got out of the hot tub. And we didn't even know, like, inside of the hot tub, it has one of these. Show right there. How cool is that? See right through there? So it's like, ouch, ouch. Yeah, that's As you can see, or maybe, I don't know how the glare is. Ooh, this is hot, too. They, bu they built this hot tub with stainless steel to give the hot effect. It is hot. Can you imagine this in summer? This is also plexiglass right there. Yeah, so you can see it's through really it. It's really cool, though. You can it see is. straight down. So we're just chilling. I mean, like, can you imagine it if you were, like, over the top of the ocean? Yeah, it'd be cool. That'd be scary. But uh, we were going to do the uh, aqueduct, and luckily we noticed they changed the time to almost an hour. Yeah, that's really nice. So... So we're gonna we're gonna do that this trip, just not today. And like I said earlier, I did not bring the right strap. We were uh, not as prepared for this trip, maybe because of the excitement as yeah. usual. But look how beautiful the water is. Though. The water is always beautiful here. Nassau. Do you say Nassau or Nassau? Nassau? We've always said Nassau, but some people say Nassau. Place to chill for a while. Let's do it. It's a beautiful day. First yummy drink of the trip. A banana strawberry daiquiri, which I think he called a Calypso breeze. Is that right? But it's so nice and relaxing over here. Yeah. We found another area. 
that has like a little pool. Oops, there's people in there. Sorry, people. Has a, it's an adult only area and it has just like a little pool where you can just kind of sit in it just to get wet out of the sun. But this view. First time ever. I almost fell asleep on a cruise. I don't know why I'm whispering. Bob's enjoying him an ice cream. Yeah. Ratatouille is playing. And it's packed up here. So this is Cabana's. We thought we'd just show it to you right now while there's nobody in here. This is where they have like all of the hot food right here. But it's super cute in here. Plenty of places. Drink stations over here. Over here the other day this is where they had seafood and stuff like that. We'll just make like a full circle. It's the same around on the both sides. This is pretty cute. I didn't see this before. Hong Kong Disneyland, Tokyo, Walt Disney World, Disneyland, and Disneyland Paris. That's super cute. But I like how you enter and they have these uh, like blue, like you're going into like an actual cabana. Oh yeah. Super cute. Look over here, all this detail with oh, the, the sand castle. oh sand castles. Yeah, yeah. Of all the different castles, yeah, Disneyland Pan, Paris. Like sand. Does it? Yeah. Probably is. Don't. I think you're supposed to be touching it. Why? They said so. Who said so? They did. Disneyland, Disney World, Tokyo, and Hong Kong. Super cute. He's touching it again. And look who we. Look who we found here! We found Bruce and Nemo. I also wanted to point this out up here though. Mine, mine. Is all the little seagulls. I didn't even notice the uh... And they got like a little, little fat umbrella roost. Mine, mine, mine. The kites right above you. Oh yeah, and there's kites over the lights. So cool. And the floor is like uh, the beach. Disney did a really good job theming this, like always. Great job. Hi, Nemo. Glass elevator. Don't fall in. Get outside of Bippity Boppity Boat. My foot was sick into the ground. We're gonna see Beauty and the Beast. Uh, we went outside to see the sail away. We haven't sailed away yet. We haven't sailed away yet, and it's so, time for Beauty and the Beast, so we want to try to see that. But so, we saw uh, Mickey walking around. Peter Pan. We saw Peter Pan. He has a really good Peter Pan. But I think uh, they're waiting on somebody to get on the ship because we should have been gone by now. Yeah. So hopefully they don't miss the boat. Miss Miss the boat is a phrase instead of miss the ship, but we're gonna sit here and uh, watch Beauty and the Beast because we hear this is the best show. And just make sure you always keep your eye out for characters. We're gonna watch the show. Mm -hmm. I forgot what we were talking about because that was like the longest announcement ever. It really was. I actually cut it off like halfway through because <laughs> it just kept going and going and going. But I'm excited to see the show. I am too. And uh, excited for the rest of the trip. Day two is going pretty good. There's Pluto over there. Yeah. There's Goofy.
the shirt. <laughs> I just found a duck, but I don't see anything on it. I'll have to show it to Ashley. See if this is one of the uh, Facebook ducks. Like we saw the other day, table one one seven. You excited to see what they have? Oh, we do have. Yeah, we would have had a good view. Hi, how are you? The menu really looks good. The Enchanted Garden. But once again, we are in some low light, so let me take a look at what they have. Cucumber garden roll, ahi tuna and avocado tower, North Atlantic lobster ravioli, applewood smoked bacon wild mushroom tart, heirloom tomato soup, cream of green asparagus, spinach and raspberry salad, romaine wedge, Maine caramelized sea scallops, pan seared sea bass, steamed rolls chicken, pork tenderloin medallion, slow roasted prime rib. Might have to get some scallops and some prime rib. Definitely gonna get uh, the uh, lobster ravioli. This is the lobster ravioli. Uh, over there is my tuna and avocado. Cheese, yes. Soy sauce? No, thank you. Or you can come back. Ashley got the lobster ravioli also. I think we're gonna share more tuna. <laughs> She's gonna pass. I'm like you, I'm gonna get a bigger piece. Oh. Just go for it. But this one's first. It's going home. I was just trying the uh, ahi tuna with the avocado tower. You know what surprised me about it? Mm -hmm. The onion in it. I wasn't expecting onion. I'm definitely not a fan of those. Yeah. I'm not a fan of onions unless they're really sauteed. But saying that, it's still really good. You know when the food is good, that you get through it before. We, we forgot to show it because you went through it. Mushroom tart. It tastes like a quiche if you like quiche. And you like mushroom and quiche, so winner, winner. It's very good. Quiche for dinner. It's a twice baked potato. So, if Kylie was with us, she would already took it for me. So, I got the uh, prime rib. We also got an extra order of scallops because scallops. And you got the scallops because you like scallops too? I, I just hope it's. The ones we had today at Paolo were cold but fantastic. And these are probably going to be better because they're warm. Ooh. That's really good. I gotta try a scallop. Okay. Alright, let's see. Especially drinks, of course, and the coffees. Not many, as many desserts. Let's see. Warm sticky date pudding. Chocolate garden tort. Orange yogurt cake, chocolate brownie sundae, peanut butter brownie bites, 
with rich chocolate ice cream, whipped cream, and chocolate fudge sauce. Southern style pecan tart with bourbon caramel sauce. Or lemon raspberry mousse Bombay. <laughs> This is when your Disney theming comes together without you trying. I didn't even try it. So he was telling us that this restaurant is themed after Alice, Alice in Wonderland. And look at my and culture hat. Alice in Wonderland. Mad Hatter. The Maze. And this was a character warehouse. Character warehouse find. Find. For like it's not really a clutch. Four ninety nine, five ninety nine. It could be like a makeup bag or anything, but I use it as a clutch on those on the cruises. Yeah, if you're a, a Disney person and you haven't heard of the Character Warehouse videos, check them out on our channel. That was only like $4.99 or $5.99, right? Yes, you have. So I'm going to guess nobody's surprised because we pretty much said this is what we were going to get. Happy holidays! Oh. Uh, see, that's... that's Mine says, uh, I can't read it, so dark. Let me see. Does it say it right there? It says nothing. <laughs> it says nothing. It's uh, somebody somebody threw up their graduation hat and that's where it landed. You want mine? No, I'm good. Well, I've had so much today. But this is the uh, pecan tart with with the bourbon glaze. Is that the peanut uh, peanut butter on top? That's all I really wanted. Is that all there was? Is just that one piece? Hopefully, it's in a bottom. Is it good? Well, you're full. No, it's it's so hard because I love pecan pie, pecan pie, pecan pie, however you call it. But I'm just so full right now. Today has been the day of eating. Thumbs up, thumbs up, yeah. Did you eat the other chocolates? No, I didn't eat any. Did you about to get mad at me for eating chocolates? When was I gonna eat chocolates? You're gonna have to, we're both gonna have to sleep on that side of the bed. Well, who's shorter, you? You gotta sleep that way, and I'll sleep that way. Okay. <laughs> so we can't mess this up. Aw. Smell good? I should make sure they're real. <laughs> so they can reuse them? Disney's not cheap. No. They, they pulled out all the stops. They use a all real the stops. flower. Isn't that so nice? I feel like we're moving. We are moving. I know, but I haven't been used to it all day. <laughs> we had a sea day at the dock. And we just had a great dinner. So uh, I feel like I have a food baby right now. Get out my belly. This is cool because our room still remains. His name is Good Luck. That's his name, Good Luck. I oh, haven't really I oh, haven't <clears throat> asked him if it's for real his name. Or if that's just like a chosen name. Yeah. But he said happy early anniversary. Isn't that nice? Aww. Thanks, good luck. You excited? You got the ears on, and we're getting ready to uh, meet Mickey. We don't know those people, but we do know Mickey, so we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna meet Mickey here in a second, and we'll throw the picture in right now. You got to meet Mickey. I didn't see him downstairs in the gingerbread, and I said because he said he helped make it and iced it. That's why. Yeah. There. Minnie mixed it and he helped make it. It's yeah, we got we timed it just right. Let's look at this. The uh, Beauty and the Beast just let out for this last show. See even princesses have to wait to go down the stairs. Say Bell like my shirt.
Yeah. He's trying to grab his autograph book and throw it. <laughs> They're smacking each other's butts. Hey guys. Oh, you got me with your nose. <laughs> oh, guys. You know those aren't real ginger. You can try. You ate a whole batch of them. They don't taste You they're in your cheeks. You didn't eat them? They're in your cheeks. Well, you should eat them. No, it tastes much better. Bye. Bye. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Come out on the deck and watch some uh, cars. How nice is that? Where are you? I can't even find you on my. So we've been on the ship two days and I didn't even notice Mickey Bull. <laughs> what a day. What a perfectly good sea day on the dock. Day two, Disney dream. Felt like a sea day, didn't it? It felt like a sea day. It, it was a fun day. It felt like an eating day. And that was... <laughs> I don't know, because we woke up, started eating, and then... Well, we didn't wake up and start eating. Well... We hardly had anything for breakfast till 11 o'clock, and then... You know what I meant. Yeah. We but... went straight to... Well, I went straight to Palo when I left the room. Yeah. And it was... It was pretty good. It Thank was you. good. Oh. Wait. First yawn of the night. Right now. Thanks to you. <laughs> Steve and Stacy with Over and Over Travel, who... Thank you so much. Gifted us that, um... Apollo. Apollo. For our anniversary. Yes, thank you so much. We couldn't get it for our anniversary day, but we got it for today. So. Right, yeah. And it was a great experience. A I fantastic think, service. I think if you can do it, you should try it. I'm not sure. I believe, like, the dinner is actually, you, you order the menu, it's not a buffet, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. Well, the buffet wasn't all, it was a cold buffet. Yeah. And you got a hot entree, but... It could there still be like that. Choices, yeah, yeah, it could still be like that. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not 100 sure. It could have been just the buffet, and it would have been all right too. But the um, the service Top was notch. was fantastic. Yeah. Um, and like I said, the food was fantastic. I mean, they were just right there if you needed anything. If you have a special occasion or you just want to go and try it, I would I would really recommend it. I don't know if our seating was sold out because there were some empty tables or if they have like Not, a limit. Like I think they have a limit. Like each server gets so many people. I think care. they like time it so it's not like there's too many people all the buffet or whatever yeah because they have to your server shows you everything which is mm -hmm. nice so we went to try to try the aqueduct and the wait time was 45 minutes like, I'm like it only got longer the rest of the day I know, it only got longer and i'm like i won't even wait for a ride at <laughs> disney world anymore. At disney world i don't want to stand there very uncomfortably i mean in my bathing suit for 45 minutes you know it's just it was a little awkward and i just i mean i want to do you it you ask these people here for a fast pass they don't know what that is i know no <laughs> whatever get in line get in line get in line. wait it out wait it w out wait that 45 minutes we get two more days to try to do it and we'll try to do yeah. it um but i would say we can't film it but we'll try to do it right i was impressed with the um over 18 area yeah there's a lot I mean, it's very quiet back there. And you said I fell asleep. You fell asleep. Oh, she, she told me later that... Oh, sorry. Was I going down too low? Yeah. She told me later that I, she filmed it, so when I edit this, I'll see. I'll see I did fall asleep, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, 
We promise tomorrow and the following day we'll actually have a, you know, do more fun stuff. Throughout the day... We'll, we'll vlog like we normally do <laughs> because this is new to us. Right. Even even being, crew, you know, so many cruises and vlogging cruises before, this has all been new to us and we've just been experiencing it. Right. Which has been, you kind of forget to do stuff that you're normally used to doing. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know if we actually did an opening <laughs> the last two days. You know, that's just because you're having so much fun, you're excited and everything else, and that's fun. Mm -hmm. You know, hopefully it turns out fun, but we'll see. And there was a lot of stuff that on the schedule, you just need to check the navigator um, that you could do like during the day. They had um, Christmas decorations you could have made. Yeah. Um, I think they had a gingerbread cookie you could decorate. So all that kind of stuff. So anyways, what I wanted to say before I forget, if you get the internet package, this is totally different than any internet package we've ever had. You have to buy it per megabyte or 300 megabytes or 1,000. And we never really used it yesterday, but I left my phone on, plugged in, and it used up all our data. So right when we were able to go to the uh, connect, connect, connect at C, desk he knew right away and he, he reset it for us so that was nice right we hadn't even used this so that was hadn't nice. even used it yeah and it does go we did some instagram or something earlier and it used up like 18 megabytes in yeah, no time it was, so it was insane it was it's something to get used to that and not having just an unlimited package right so you know if you've been on disney cruises before you may you already know, you know that, that. um the character interaction tonight was amazing <laughs> so much best. fun i I think, I really think Chip and Dale are starting to be my favorites. Because if we go back to Disneyland, when they were messing with Cruella de Vil, Oh, yeah. That was... They're hilarious. That was classic. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and then, like, when he kept taking the guy's hat off and all that stuff and wanting to fool And I did hear somebody say... Smacking Donald's butt. I know. <laughs> and I did hear somebody say, um, <laughs> the, the guy... The um, lady was asking the guy, do you want a picture with Goofy? And he's like, no, he's acting Goofy. I was like... But he said it seriously. He said it seriously, like... Like he's acting silly. He's acting silly. I'm like, well, uh, that's how he's supposed to act. That's Goofy. His name is Goofy. <laughs> but anyways... And now, if it was uh, Donald's acting silly, then... Well, then he, he does too, but... He does sometimes. But if Grumpy one of the was acting silly, then you'd be like, okay, yeah, something's up. Right. Um, but all the characters tonight... Amazing, and um, at nighttime too, there was a lot of stuff that we didn't show for adults to do, and they still have activities for children too. Yeah. So you just really got to check your guides to uh, see what's going on. Yeah, because we want to get some sleep tonight because of the 5K tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We're so excited um, because we've never been there, and I'm so looking forward to it. So we got two more exciting days come coming up. Make sure you um, come along with us. Yeah, we're gonna have fun. Mm -hmm. We're going to take you along with us for our first experience at Castaway Key. Yeah. Our first Castaway Key. I don't know why I always say Castaway Key. Because it's the way it's written. That's the way it's spelled. But uh, it's going to be our first. Today was like a sea day because we didn't go into Nassau. But our first sea day, too, mm -hmm. is going to be. So I'm excited to get this trip going. Mm -hmm. And I'm excited for tomorrow. So we really, we, really... We really appreciate you guys um, coming along on our adventures with us and watching this. Um, we like the interactions, so leave a comment. Let us know like what you liked. Uh, if you didn't like it, just let us know. Yep. But, or uh, your fun stories of Disney cruises. Yeah, or your crazy story like my soda story today when I mm -hmm. put it in the wrong container and it had the, the fountain. Oh my gosh. But we really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Don't waste a day. Every day is a gift. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody. We are getting done. Bags packed to around the run today. We're really